I just recently had a conversation with, I'm sure, a well-meaning person, a, a young woman, who stated to me that she didn't really see the topic of leadership as something relevant in her life. And I think there's good reason for that. I, I, I think we think of maybe CEOs and presidents and politicians and head football coaches and, and, and those kinds of things. But, but leadership starts starts in how we lead our own lives, how we lead our own lives. And, and leadership is a spiritual conversation as much as it is anything else that we want to uh, label it, whether we want to talk about psychology or business or sports or, or whatever it might be. In fact, what I'd like to do on, on this coaching uh, time together and for the next at least two more sessions is to lay out some ancient wisdom. Uh, it comes from Christian scripture, Psalm chapter 1. And as I recall this text in memory, it goes like this. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law, he meditates day and night. He's like a tree planted by streams of water, which brings forth its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. That's Psalm 1. And if it says nothing else, it says this. There are at least two broad choices that we can make in our life. And I want to call them roads or pathways. One pathway is towards the mystery of God, the residence of God, the idea of the creator, the idea of authority higher than myself, me being a creature seeking out the will of the creator. What did the creator intend? Or I could go down the road of despair. I could go down the road of shortcuts. I could go down the road of cynicism. I can do, go down the road of doubt and, and, and frankly giving place and time for evil, and even words like wicked, wicked. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to challenge you over the next week is to find Psalm 1 and, and memorize it. That's right, I'm challenge you, challenging you to memorize it. When we were little kids, we memorized things so easily. Um, you can memorize, you memorize songs. You memorize uh, some of your favorite oldies, or your maybe you like the contemporary music that's happening happening today. And when you're driving down the road, you don't have a problem repeating the words that you've heard, or at least the words you think that you've heard. I want to encourage you and challenge you to do something good for yourself. Memorize scripture. Let's start with Psalm chapter one, and then over the next two weeks, I'm going to unpack these two paths and what I believe the psalm is trying to teach us. Let me guarantee you this. It's good. It's good. It's good for you. It, it, it will encourage you and strengthen you and help you, make you stronger, give you, give you more joy. So lean into it and watch how it also impacts your leadership, whether it's at work or at home or wherever that you might apply it. All right, thanks for joining. Oh, and by the way, um, I would love it if you would share where you're watching this from and, and that you would invite others to be part of uh, this Lead Today uh, community. Thank you, and God bless you. Have a great day.